Let's go back to blue. Example. All right. So, assisting solution. Assisting solution was prepared and buffered buffered to a pH equal to 8.2. I would like you to describe the degree of protonation protonation for each ionizable group. In other words, I'd like you to tell me does this amino acid exist in what form? What's the total charge on it? Which group is ionized? Which group is not ionized? That's what it's asking. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at, first of all, let's, this is biochemistry. It's chemistry. It's organic chemistry. Draw structure. Okay, so cysteine. Let's go ahead and draw it out as you want to draw out the fully protonated form first and then make your decision. N H3 plus this is an H, this is a CH2, and cysteine is a SH. Okay, so again, begin by protonating all of them. In other words, that's protonated, that's protonated, that's protonated. We have three ionizable groups. At pH of 8.2, which one is protonated, which one is not? Well, let's see what we've got. We look up the pKs. Well, the pK1 is equal to 1.96. <clears throat> Excuse me. The pKr is equal to 8.18. So notice in this case, the R group ionizes before this group does. The pK2 is equal to 10.28. Well, now we just use our rule of thumb or reason it out. pH is bigger than pK1, right? pH is 8.2. We said the pH is 8.2, and we said the pK1 was 1.96. Because the pH is bigger than pK1, that implies that the carboxylic acid group exists as a carboxylate group. It's actually been ionized. It has lost its H. Okay, the pH, which is 8.2. It is, in this particular case, it happens to equal the pKr. That's interesting. This is 8.18. The pH is 8.2. Well, they're exactly the same. So this implies that Um, how shall I? I'm just going to write the group. CH2, SH, and the CH2, S minus, they exist in equal concentrations. In this case, the pH equals the pKa of the R group. When pH equals the pKa of the R group, that means the acid form, the protonated form, and the base form, the unprotonated form, exist in equal concentrations. So in this case, they're both like that. It's a little bit of this, a little bit of that, half and half. Exist in equal concentrations. Now, the pH happens to be less than the pK2. Again, the pH is 8.2, and this is 10.28. Well, this implies that the amino group, the alpha amino group, exists as its protonated form. The pH is less than the pKa, so it has not ripped away this hydrogen. It's still H3N+. Plus. So that's it. So our final answer, we have C, COO minus H, N, H3 plus, 
CH2 and SH. Just want to make sure I've, yes. And C, COO minus NH3 plus CH2 S minus H. So this is our final answer. The amino acid actually exists as an equal concentration of this thing and this thing. Okay, this group is completely ionized. This group, the amino group, is not ionized. The SH group, half of it is ionized, half of it is not. That's what's going on here. Okay, I hope that made sense. And, and this is strictly based on the rule of thumb. Let me write and. Okay, and again, it's based on comparison of pH and pKa. Compare pH and pKa, compare pH and pKa of each R group. That's all that's going on here. Okay, now let's say one thing about one of the amino acids and then we'll go ahead and close out this particular lesson. So histidine is special. Histidine is special. When I look, I see a pK1 of 1.82. I see a pKr equal to 6.00. And I see a pK2 equal to 9.17. Notice. Okay, if you take a look at a list of all of them, this is one of the numbers that will stand out. That one. It is the only amino acid whose pKr, whose pKa of the R group, is close to physiological pH. Is close to physio pH. found in intracellular and extracellular uh, fluids. So the, the fluid inside the cell, the fluid outside the cell, physiological pH. This is the only amino acid whose pKr is actually close to the physio pH. Okay. It is, therefore, for um, actually, not it is, therefore, I should say. Sorry about that. Let me go ahead and erase that. So, it, therefore, has the potential, potential to provide good buffering capacity good buffering capacity under physiological conditions under physio conditions So that's it. Histidine is special because it's has its R group has a you know has a pKa of 6.0, which is not that far from the 7.0 or 7.2. So as it turns out, it has the potential to actually be a pretty good buffer, you know, in that particular range. So as it turns out, uh, that's exactly what it's going to do. So keep an eye out for histidine when we start talking about enzyme reactions and when we start talking about metabolism. Okay, so that takes care of acid-base behavior for amino acids. Thank you for joining us here at educator.com and biochemistry. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.